today I'm here with Lily. Hello. It's literally been yonks. Ages. It's been a really long time and we haven't filmed a video for our channels since September. We actually haven't seen each other that long since you and Mark came down to London for the day. Oh god, that was like three weeks ago. So we've got a lot to catch up on. So we thought we would catch up, do our makeup because I look like a mole right now and just kind of have a chat. This is not a makeup tutorial. Yeah, I was gonna say pre-warning. This is not a makeup <laughs> tutorial. We're getting ready anyway, because we're going for dinner, so we just thought we'd chat while we're doing it. It's it's dark, it's six o'clock. Yeah, you can also tell this is, I haven't bought a new home. This is uh, no. neither of our homes. We're on a trip at Soho Farmhouse for SkinCeuticals, which is very kind of them. And we just had a SkinCeuticals facial. My skin's feeling very nice. Yeah, now I'm gonna put makeup on it which is actually really not a good idea but no one needs to see this at dinner it's fine um, but yeah do, apologies for the uh the quality of lighting in this video but you guys liked it when we did this in new york so that was fun doing it again we're gonna do a q a on my channel we haven't done uh, one of those yeah. in a while oh my god oh, i forgot about that do you know what do you know what the i just looked through some of the questions and favorited some of them but i haven't thought about them at all so i'll show you um minute. okay first product we're using <laughs> look how much i've used <laughs> Oh, you're beating there. me. I think I'm down to there. Woo! Isn't it the best thing oh, ever? So good. It's like skincare. It's like a serum. Um, oh, oh, sorry, that was me. We're both using the Smashbox primer, which is great. Yeah, I realised we held it up and actually didn't say what Smashbox it was. Smashbox primariser. It's amazing. Alana made us buy it and damn right. It's Alana incredible. made us buy it should be a hashtag. She made me buy everything recently. I feel like you've... Oh, you're using the Fenty Beauty. Yeah. I saw your haul where you got that. What shade do you use in it? Two hundred? Two hundred. Do you need your glasses? Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred. Oh, I like it. You like it? What's really the like what's it. the finish like? Good for evening. It's like it's like a medium. It's quite it's heavier than my other. It might be a bit heavy for you. It's definitely not matte. Okay. I'm into that. I'm really See. into the um the new NARS one. Yeah, I bought a mini of that mm. as well with me. Natural radiant longwear foundation. I got that's that not shade radiant. It's a little bit too light for me. Duville. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you're not a Duville. So I've got a little one here in Vienna, which is better. Ooh, yeah. No, I'm really liking it at the moment. Yeah, that is nice as well. Um, what have you been up to? Update me on your life. Um, watching lots of Justin Timberlake videos. <sighs> because I told you to. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'd already seen the one that with, when he's Steve Jobs, I didn't love that one. And then the one you sent me, one. Say Something, which is when he's like, you know, they did it on one shot, live, no rehearsals with him. Like, no rehearsal? I don't think he rehearsed it. I think they rehearsed it. And he just came in and like did it in one go. It's amazing. Um, you should definitely watch it. I'll link it down below for you. Yeah. And then, did you see the other one? Man in the Woods. Man of the Woods. Man of Jessica the Woods. Jessica Biel's in it. Who is in The Sinner. Of course. Which, um, did I tell you that we watched it in three days? Oh good, I watched it in two days. I thought okay. you'd love it. It's so good. So but it was good. it was creepy. Yeah, the bit with the sisters. Mm. Oh, um, that yeah, was that majorly bit. uncomfortable. Majorly uncomfortable, um, but a really great show on Netflix if you need something to watch that isn't Friends. I keep forgetting that we're doing a video and I'm like, why are you talking like that? And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this foundation. It's really nice. Oh, it's not um, it's not matte, is not it? At all. I mean, I'm using a very wet sponge, but oh, I like that. Have you not got it? No, what? because there's there's so many shades. I get overwhelmed. I'm like, yeah. it's quite good. They've got photos of people though, because I'm like, oh, I look a bit like her. <laughs> and then I just go for that one. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm normally the second from lightest. That's my no. My I don't think you will role. be in this. There's some really light shades. There's a lot. It's amazing. There's such a good shade range. I yeah. should definitely pick it up. And I've heard. Good things of oh no you use the highlighter and you weren't crazy about it. Um, I know I can't really get the the color products to work, but I'm still trying. This is my favorite thing of all time, the By Terry Click concealer. Have you tried it? I tried it. I did a video of Space and K, oh, and I was like, please can I use this? Product? I've nearly finished it. I'm um, like I'm obsessed. I use it just as foundation some days as well. It's really full coverage, but not cakey it's, or drying at all. It's so good. See, I'm still into the Nars. I've got that as well. Yeah. Whatever one that is, the pot. I'm so into it. Um, okay, so what have I been up to? I've been watching Justin Timberlake videos. I've actually yeah. been very busy. Um, but What have you been doing, stuff. Lily? <laughs> Anna's trying to like get me to like promo my book and her video I very, very kindly. I feel so can we, can we bring it out? No, bring it out. I want to show. We've got, this show. is like the fake version. This is the mock-up. So by the time this goes live, Really? This will be, no, your book will be out on Next week. Thursday. Oh my god. And so if you haven't pre-ordered the F word, I have. I pre-ordered <laughs> this. I pre-ordered Dolly Alderton's book, which oh, is yeah. now for me. And I also pre-ordered Emma Gannon's multi-hyphen method. Yeah, good ones. Um, but yeah, I'm this very This is my excited. book. It's the F word. 
It's about female friendship. I'm sure you guys know. I feel like we prob you probably watched both our videos, but. I'm so excited to see a final copy and I cannot wait to read it. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm yeah. so scared. Is there gonna be, because I've never like, been so scared in my life. I feel like I know you quite well. Is there gonna be anything in it that like surprises me? I think so. I think it's, so my managers, who are one of the few people who have read it, put it down and said, wow, it was a lot more personal than I thought. Really? So, I think so. I think, I mean, I don't know because I know it all, but yeah, I think it's it's a lot, showing a lot more like personal stuff of my like childhood as well, my friendships at school. It kind of starts off like very personal and talking about making friends when you're younger. And then it turns into more like general female friendship stuff. But at the beginning, it's very much like about me. So. I feel like a bit emotional just you talking oh about God, it. Do you think, stop. am I gonna cry? Um, I my friend, so I got my friend Hannah to, proofread it because I feel like she knows everyone in the book and I was <laughs> terrified that I was gonna like offend anyone so I wanted someone to read it who knows everyone um, and she said she laughed like belly laughed at some parts and cried at others she was like I've never had such like extreme emotions but she's very invested because she's my best yeah, friend yeah so she's your best bud I think I think I mean you you're quite a crier so you there might be I am quite I think you'll definitely crier. laugh like at the beginning when I'm talking about like child teenage stuff there are some quite funny bits there <sighs> I don't know! I, ah. I cannot wait. So Thursday, it will be coming. International Women's Day. Box. Oh yeah, Woo International Women's Day. Let's all, you know, Thank help you. a sister out. I'm very excited. Thanks. What, um, what, what did you use then? No, I just, what did we miss? Sometimes I just top up my concealer with the NARS one. But now, I'm going onto this. Do you remember this? The butter bronzer. The I butter saw your Instagram bronzer. story. Smell it. Oh. It smells like holiday, teenager, teenage years. Really? Yeah, like I was very into coconut body sprays. <laughs> oh my god, this smells like um, coconut, like sun cream to me. I don't know why you just completely reminded me of something very random, but you know I was away with IGK. I do know you were away with IGK. They said yeah. they're bringing out a new product that's like sun in, but doesn't kill your hair. Do you remember sun in? Yeah, and you used to try and get the streaks. Oh, I was so desperate for Put it in your hair streaks. and sit in the sun and it would give you blonde streaks. Oh my God, I it need smells to a bit try like sun that. In. They've also brought out like a million and one new dry shampoos and I don't know yeah, where to start. Three. This is so, it's so okay. funny because <laughs> my vlog's going up tomorrow, which will be ages once this goes up. And I say in it, Anna's going to love these. Yeah, I, I saw it and I was like, but I don't know what one, one to get. The original dry shampoo that we've the tried is, is the, the first one and then there's a middle one and a, hot, a stronger one so in terms oh. of how much powder is in it how strong it is of a dry oh, shampoo so there's like a really intense one yeah the one we have is the lightest so if you Ooh. if you feel like that was light you, I think you'd like the middle one um so that's IGK and that's now in space NK which mm -hmm. is very exciting um I've just brushed over everything that I've done but I used the NARS bronzer in Seaside which is like lighter than Laguna because sometimes Laguna is a bit intense. I didn't even know that existed. It exists if like me, you're super pale and sometimes it can be a bit too much. This is great. And then I did my Glossier <laughs> Halo Scope in quartz and I just did the little pat pat pat. And I'm so close to finishing it. Look. Oh my god, wow. Look, it's a tiny little bit like... What I can see in my mirror is so dark and, what, and that's so bright. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm yeah, putting in my face. Just, just know that we've got like a lamp shining directly in our face. So there's <laughs> going to be a bit of shine going on. But it's cool. Blusher, Nars Free Soul. Ooh. No idea. It, it looks a bit orgasmy. Yeah. <laughs> Way. It's quite a sheeny pink, I think. I think. Oh, have you tried this? Yes, I have. They are super intense. Very intense. I when I put it on this morning, I was thinking I bet Anne doesn't like these. No, I there's one that I like. Um It's a champagne, champagne flash. Champagne flash. Yeah, I like that one. But you can't if I swipe it on like this, it would just be too much. So I yeah. tend to just kind of go. A little bit. Yeah, you don't need a lot of them. There's five different shades and one of them's like rosy, there's a bronzy one. You didn't say it's hourglass, by the way. Oh, hourglass vanish highlighting stick, I think yeah. it's called. Even once I dab it on, I have to then kind of blend it in with a brush because it's, it's it really just goes where you put it. Otherwise. But I think it's nice to have a cream product that is that pigmented. Yeah. Like, that's quite rare because I, I feel like the Glossier just makes me look a little bit kind of sweaty, but mm. that really has changed it. No, I do like that one, actually. I'm trying to think what else I've been using that's new that I need to tell you that you need in your life. Oh, there is a new lip product. We'll get to that in a bit. We'll get to that. So tell me what you've been up to recently. Well, at the time of filming this video, my builder is off ill, and so we're currently living in in just like renovation purgatory. Your bathroom looks so nice. How are you enjoying the cabinet? 
Oh my god, the cabinet is changing my life. Isn't it the best? It's the best thing ever. So for the last three years of my life, I've had to bend down into like a little <sighs> Ikea mirror and with this little like drawer and get all my skincare out. It's been a pain in the ass. And now I just stand there and I do my skincare properly. Cause you know when you've got time and you're enjoying yeah. it? And it's nice. It's the best. It's really relaxing. I've got a little- I miss that cabinet. I've got a stoop that I can put, um, my phone up on and like watch your videos, watch Reese's videos, watch Caroline's videos, watch Alana's videos. Um, yeah, I love it. It's it's changed my life. But I mean, by the time this video goes up, hopefully, unless my builder it's unfortunately is rather ill, um, it really should be done, which is very exciting. I cannot wait to not have plastic on the floor anymore because Mark keeps slipping. <laughs> Like up and down the stairs. Like a baby giraffe. Yeah, his legs are just too long for him. Whoa. Him. So I just tried a new eyeshadow, it's quite intense. What I bought this, this when I was in Sephora. Um, oh yeah, what did you buy? So I didn't Lily really... went to America without me, you went to Sephora without yeah, me. Yeah, to be fair, I was with Space and K and I thought it was a bit like disrespectful, so I like ran in, I got one thing and ran out, <laughs> and I was like, ah! Seriously, um, what did I, I think I literally just got... You just got that? I got the Fenty lip gloss, because everyone told me I had to try that. Ooh, um, do you like it? Yeah. Uh, this is the Tarte. Tartlet Flirt. It's a tiny, weeny, weeny, weeny eyeshadow palette. I just thought I'd be really good for travelling because look, it's got like, I um, can't really see. <laughs> a few matte browns <laughs> and brown. then a couple of shimmers. And one's like a cranberry shimmer and one's a bit like all oh, the glitters from MAC. Look, I'm putting on like the cranberry one now. Oh, that's nice. really it's nice. It's a really nice little mini palette. Do you know what I'm into though? And someone messaged it to me and was like, Anna, you need this in your life. And it's the um, the Naked Heat palette <gasps> in miniature. No, but it's, it's yeah, but it's called like the Naked Heat. What's it called? It's like <laughs> heat cool name. I, I saw Lily Melrose tweet yeah. about it. And it basically had all my favourite shades. Yes. I mean, it's stupid. I've got the big palette. No, like, why, why do I need the small one because, as well? Because the big one's too big. Like I don't. I hate all the shades I don't use. Like. I love mini palettes because it's just got what you need. I don't know what one should I use. I've got the NARS. Yeah, I've made a mistake, yeah. The NARS wanted, I love that I'm holding it like you can see it. The NARS, I keep calling it unwanted, but it's wanted. <laughs> what one should I use? Uh, I don't understand this palette and why you love it. And I like, it's got green glitter in it. It's not green, that's like gold. It's green. Um, <laughs> I feel maybe I might put the glitter in the shade. Go for one. it because I've just put far too much Pink I'm just gonna go my for it. So can you yeah, join me? Yeah, I'm gonna do pink glitter as well. It's evening. No one can see. I have a question. Yeah. You're gonna say no because whenever I ask you if you've seen a film, you always say no. Yeah, obviously. Greatest Showman. Obviously no. It's, obviously no. It's so good. Really? Would you like it? I'm I, not crazy about musicals. I, it's so good. I didn't even enjoy it when I was watching it and I walked out and I was like, that was the best thing I've ever seen. And I can't stop listening to the soundtrack. I know there's like a good bit with, um, sorry, I'm just doing that really disgusting thing where I've got like eyeshadow on my thing, on my finger. I just put it on my sock. I don't to... know what to do with it. <laughs> you used to always say that. I don't think I've ever rubbed eyeshadow on my socks before. Just to I like, get go, it out of the way. I I'd go for the sofa over the sock. <laughs> <sighs> um, I've heard there's a really good scene with Zac Efron and Zendaya. Oh, he is great. And they, um, I the whole know. thing is so good. But I'm, I, the only musical that I really like is La La Land and that's because of Emma Stone. <laughs> yeah, but it is quite similar <laughs> in that <laughs> way. It's like a movie musical rather than like, a it's not like a traditional musical. It's not okay. that cheesy. They've made songs like, seem like chart songs. Okay. Maybe I'll give it a just go. Watch it, we're gonna lose like two hours of your life. God, trying to convince Anna to watch films is my life. I just, I have a very short attention span. Even the sinner, I'd, I'd get to the end and be like, oh. <laughs> I just don't like sitting still for that long. Um, I have massively got into reading though recently. That's my new like yeah. fun little hobby. What's your current, I've seen this, little Anna book club going on. Yeah, I'm currently reading uh, Little Fires Everywhere. Ooh. Um, it's very good, very good. Oh God, I've got glitter all down my face. Oh, no bollocks. One can see. No one can see. Oh, just edit that bit out. Just, oh. We haven't spoken about this yet. You ready? The Spice Girls possible <gasps> reunion. I know, and I'm really worried that, like, I'm not very fast with these things. I've never been the sort of person who buys concert tickets quickly. I'm worried that it's going to happen and I'm going to miss it. <sighs> okay, if I get if I get in there, I'll get you a ticket. Yeah, but I need, need to get, to like, ten. Like, I went to yeah. that Spice Girls reunion last time. That was, like, when I was probably 21 or something. Oh, my God, the dream. So maybe, like, ten years ago. Maybe that's what they're doing it, like, ten years later. Anyway, I went with all my friends and it was, like, the best night ever. It was worth... I would spend... How much would you spend... 
What's oh. the most you would spend <laughs> no. on a Spice Girls reunion? No, because we looked into going to see the Backstreet Boys in Vegas, and it was like seven hundred pounds a ticket or something insane. And I just you would have got a holiday out of it as well. That actually would have been worth it. You, I do you know what? I don't think I could spend. Oh, it's hard because we're like saving the house stuff. Yeah, I was like, but I do also need to finish off my bathroom. Do you know what? I'm just gonna put it out there. I would spend. Vegas. No, but do you know what? Theatre tickets are like hundred quid now. Yeah, they are. So I was gonna say like two hundred, thinking that was outrageous, but I think I they're, gonna, they're gonna be more. They're gonna be like five hundred, six hundred pounds. Do you think? Oh, I hope. Not. Maybe we can like try get friendly with one of them. Any of them I think Jerry. Lines? I think Jerry. <laughs> I think really with Jerry because her husband is into. Yes, S1. I know someone that writes music with Jerry. Yeah, you've got like a weird in. <laughs> Let's um, become I could be like, oh, your husband lo loves F one too. I think he like owns. The F1. Oh my god, okay, let's befriend Jerry. I mean, she yeah. won't know, she'll be like, yeah, or Emma, be Emma, seems, Emma seems really nice. They Emma were, seems I mean, nice. I love them all. Um, I tweeted the other day, and it was one of my most liked tweets ever, something about the impulse spray. You know, they did a yeah. limited you edition impulse spray. That. I love it. Like, I tried to buy it off of eBay, but it's £75, and I just think that's a bit outrageous. Um, but someone <laughs> reminded me that the Spice Girls were on the front of crisp packets. Which crisps? Walker's crisp, but like oh, all different like kinds. A sponsor, like a massive brand deal. Yeah, so and she kept all of her crisp packets and <gasps> sent me a picture and it was just like, wow. I just thought that was amazing. Um, I haven't said anything I've been using, by the way. Um, I'll, I'll link the eyeshadow everything palette. down below for you. Yeah, I use my normal MAC eyeliner and then this is the Lancome um, Monsieur Big mascara, which I love. Oh yeah, see I like it, but because I have non-lifted lashes at the moment, I have to use my, my waterproof mascaras. Um, something else which I feel we need to discuss, which I'm sure by the time this video goes up will be completely irrelevant and she's probably shown like a million photos of the baby and revealed the name. Wait, um, Kylie! Kylie Jenner's, the whole, she was pregnant for a full nine months, people. I knew it, I was so invested. On Christmas Day. Oh yeah, I was, I was, I was there, I was waiting for the 25th yeah. photo and it didn't happen and then I got really pissed off and then I kind of forgot about it and how did you, where did you see it? Because Caroline messaged me and that's how I saw Twitter, it. Twitter, Katie Snooks. Oh, Katie Snooks, well done girl. Um, and it was unbelievable. It was so, you know when some, like, something is really frustrating and then when you find out the news it's not that satisfying. Like I found that really satisfying. Oh, it was so well video. executed. I had, I've watched it three times. Obviously through. it would have been great to see the baby but I wonder if she's going to show it at all. I don't know. She seems like quite a private person these she days. She put um, a Snapchat up today. Oh. I've followed her on Snapchat. Oh my god, I deleted Snapchat. Yeah, just because I was like, I need to know what you're getting up to. And she she posted a picture of like a, a C in flowers, which made me think that her baby name begins It could be Chicago. C. Could be Chicago. Oh, you saw Chicago in the video. Yeah. She was so cute. Um, yeah, I am super into that news. Yeah. Kudos too. for keeping it a secret. I mean, it wasn't was like a, the worst kept secret because everyone kind of knew. No, but no one actually sure. said anything. Like it was well kept in terms of how many people must have known. And yeah, like, can you imagine the contracts that would be going on flying? Those out? NDAs <laughs> were tight. Um, what are you putting on now? Um, I just put on a bit of Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk lip liner because I've lost the edge of my lip. Um, rest in peace, lip edge. <laughs> gave, rest in peace, gave lip it a liner. <laughs> Since my lips have gone really dry, they just, they're like feather at the edge. They're just like dry, flaky feathers. So I've reunited <laughs> with lip liner and now I'm putting on the Pillow You're Talk really lipstick. really selling yourself. See, this is the new thing that I was telling you about. The Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lip Stink. Oh, I saw lip those stink. when I was in. <laughs> lip stink. Okay. In the shade Vibe. I'm so into it. I have no idea if it actually goes with what I've got on my eyes. Possibly not, but it's the only one I've got with me. This is very similar. If you like the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, you'll like these. Yeah, is it as dry? As someone who thinks they're quite dry. I wouldn't say it's as dry and kind of pulley, you know, like the NARS can kind of like yeah. drag a little bit. I wouldn't say these are as like draggy in that way, um, but I just love the pigment. I love that they're matte and I love that they're in this like little precise thing because I don't need a lip liner with it. I can just like throw it on. I'm starting to think about how I'm going to get back to my room. <laughs> Anna, um, <laughs> And I was like, just give them a call, they'll give you a lift. They have these like milk floats here and they give you lifts. So I've got hair in my mouth. Um, I decided to get on my bicycle and then I got very lost and it started snowing. <laughs> it started snowing. It was very eventful. I was outside going, Lele! Like literally the neighbour must be like, what is, I was like, Lele! 
Lily! I was all the way down there and I was like, I can hear it a little bit. Like, I was at 22, you were 21. I was like, it doesn't feel like I'm next door. And I was going, do it again! No, now we're going to film a Q&A for Lily's channel. Yeah, we are. Because, I mean, I don't know what you want to do with your Sunday, but you want to watch or probably almost an hour of You definitely want to watch two of us <laughs> sitting in bad lighting talking shit. That is what you want to do this Sunday. We appreciate it. <laughs> We know you do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, um, definitely check out Lily's channel, obviously, for the video, but also because she's just great. And the F word. Bring it back. Bring it back. We'll F word. It. This week, um, by the time you see this video, hopefully I've read it and I've edited out all the bits. I'm like, Lily, I can't believe you did that. No, I'm joking. Oh my God, don't. I'm joking. And take a photo with it. I want to see like people, do you know what I'm most scared about? People are going to receive the book and then I'm just going to be waiting like, well, what did you think? Like, well, we'll be like, Lily, you need to give us like at least two days just Yeah, to how long it. does it take someone to read a book? The people who are really speedy readers, can you just, Let Lily. can you read it really quickly and then tell Lily what you think? No, just tell me that it's great. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying. <laughs> but thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being on my channel. Sorry, it's been fun and mad. <laughs> fun and mad. And we will see you again soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> it's been fun and mad. I mean, that was just the most ridiculous video ever. I think people will love it. <laughs> I 